inside one more time. Oh, yep. Once How, again. What is what is the worst part about this being indoors to for the entire season? Well, I think the hardest part would probably be trying to find something to do. I think every every day is getting really repetitious, and it's getting I wouldn't say boring, but it's getting pretty much the same thing about every single day almost well, so uh, outside of the uh much rain uh you guys are eight and one so far i guess just talk about a little bit about your season and what what you think you've done so far yeah that uh that only loss we had against southeast that was a really good game but i think that was uh we i personally me i only had like three three days of practice because of the basketball season getting done so late and uh yeah, but it's been going pretty well so far. These, you know, these rains hasn't been doing too well, but we've been kind of trying to get back in the groove of things, you know, since we play a couple games here and there, and then we have to sit out for a week and then go play a couple more games. And it's been kind of hard to to uh, keep keep in shape, I guess, staying being in the gym, and and it's hard, you know, picking up the pitchers. It's you know hitting and stuff at the play. It's been kind of difficult. What, what's that like only having three days of practice before jumping right in? Is that a difficult thing? Yeah, it was really difficult because I haven't. I didn't think we start. We started early and uh, we. And I, I think the last time I hit was in December and I think we started in what like February I think something like that and yeah so it was pretty hard just kind of pretty much jumping right into it and then I, I didn't really have a great game against Southeast and with that first game we played so. so when you guys sat down to start this year as a team did you set any goals or even you personally what, what did what were you looking to do oh yeah we definitely always start off with uh, winning the conference that's got to be the one we we don't really want Williamsville to win it for the third year in a row um, that that was probably be the first goal, and then after that, I think we want to just be just like basketball and make a run in the postseason. You go into Lincoln Land mm -hmm. this year to play baseball. Uh, is there any relief at all? Um, not maybe not relief, but got the got football out of the way, got basketball out of the way. Now you can just focus on the sport you want to play in college. Is that is there any sort of feeling there? Yeah, I guess there is, and uh, being out being out of the recruiting process I guess is, is also a relief You'd, like last year kind of knowing that scouts were looking at me and all that kind of thing uh, that's kind of that pressure's kind of off my back this year I kind of feel like and plus I'm, I'm really excited to go to Lincoln Land I, I, I like Coach Riggle and all that he does uh, up there and I'm really excited. Well, Will does about everything for us right now um, he runs well um, throws well uh, hits well um, and he's also uh, one of our better defenders um, I think with basketball season and the success he had, uh, he was a little bit behind. So I don't know if we've seen the best Will Schneider with baseball yet this year, um, which I'm very excited about. Um, but uh, he's he's about as good as they come around here. He said he had three days of practice before he got to jump in <laughs> here. What, what's that like for, for you as a team and for him as a player to adjust? Well, it, it was a tough uh, coaching decision. Um, we're, you know, He's our three hitter, our shortstop, one of our better pitchers. We were trying to decide whether we put him in the three spot, um, but we just, you know, you can't put an athlete somewhere else um, with his skills. Um, so we just kind of had to wing it. Um, you know, that first game we got beat by Southeast four to two. Uh, these basketball guys were a little, um, they weren't ready for baseball season. Uh, it took him about a week and his swings come along. Um, since that first two games, uh, he's been right on it, so he's, he's been pretty uh, pretty impressive so far. Do you get anything as far as these guys that play football and then play basketball and then come into baseball? Is there any sort of, you know, especially the ones that really want to play baseball in the future, is there any sort of like relief? I can really focus on this when I'm, yeah. I'm here. And yeah, um, Will Schneider's going to, It's. I think it will benefit him. Um, I always tell these kids, they get tired with, of me um, saying it, multi-athlete or multi-sport athletes, I think, have an advantage. Um, you know, Will has to deal with all the uh, pressure of basketball, all the pressure of being a quarterback on the football team. So when it comes here to baseball, um, he has a huge advantage, I think. Um, now when he goes to Lincoln Land, I really think he's going to take off. Uh, guys around here haven't seen his potential yet because he's focused on three sports. I think once he starts focused on baseball, his off season he gets to lift and let his body rest a little bit. Uh, I think uh, the sky's the limit for him.